Hello guys, my name is Pedro and or PRC in the um, interwebs and uh, yeah, I am here for my um, vlog, usual vlog. Um, yeah, this, uh, this week I have uh, some important stuff to, to talk about um, as usual. I will talk about the sound. I will talk about DTube, where I am a node leader. And I will talk about latest developments and all that. So stay tuned. Uh, there's a lot of things um, to talk about. First of all, uh, related to DTube, I will start to, with DTube. Um, Tipfox started um, a thing that I find very important. I had the same problems in this sound and uh, I really think that it's important to have a verified users list um, so that we know which users are and are not um, verified. So in this sound I, I, I had uh, the same problems and I had a whitelist as well. I don't like to call it the whitelist. Um, I would prefer uh, like verified users. So uh, I completely agree with the initiative. Uh, it's a starting point. And here is my PRC on DTube so that you can check that I am original. I, I don't think that most, most of you uh, would think that I am not original uh, since I am uh, in this um, uh, blockchain and uh, decentralized content uh, fields for quite a while. But anyway, uh, it's, if all of us do it, uh, it's much better. So yeah, I am a, an original uh, DTube content creator as well. I do vlogging on DTube. I prefer... Uh, mm, to, to do it in video as I usually do because writing long texts and um, replying to all the messages in Discord and so on uh, there was a time that I was doing that but I don't have time for that sorry um, I have a lot of things going on in my uh, professional and personal lives so <laughs> yeah uh it's not it's it's not part of me to stay all day in discord and telegram and whatever so that's that's the reason why i started doing these vlogs and i'm loving it uh, it's much easier for me to uh, talk to you here and um, to share my thoughts and to listen to your um, replies or uh, questions in the comments and get back to you with more information. So uh, that is the reason why I uh, started vlogging uh, and I love it. So yeah, and since I am also starting to be a content creator uh, in, D in DTube and in YouTube and with s several channels, um, yeah, I think it makes a lot of sense. So with that out of the way, um, I want to continue uh, my chat about uh, DTube and as a node leader, I think I have something to say. And also being someone that is for quite a while in this um, field and has experience running a very big community, uh, I really think that I can help a little bit. And uh, lately, DTube has uh, gone through uh, some changes and some um, issues that um, I think we can talk about and should talk about and should uh, think of ways to minimize that because I, I had the same problems in these sounds and uh, the problem is decentralized governance and 
incentivization of the right actions. I've been delaying uh, this, uh, this video for quite a while. Um, I had my own um, concerns about DTube and being a, a, um, an early investor in this project, uh, I really think that uh, DTube has some, um, some problems that should be solved. And being a participant in this economy and a content creator as well, and a curator, because I, I usually, all the musicians that post content on DTube know me for sure, because I curate music content as probably makes sense because I am the guy behind this sound, right? And um, this sound right now is going through a, a major change. And since DTube and this sound have the same origins on Steam, uh, I think it makes a lot of sense for me to curate uh, music content in DTube as well. And so, I really think that the first the first thing that popped in my mind, being such uh, an active user, uh, is um, the economy. The incentivization is probably something that requires uh, some thought right now. I I think that. Uh, The model is interesting, but the voting and uh, the, the way the rewards are um, shared, uh, it doesn't make much sense in some occasions. And I've been uh, noticing some uh, tendency lately, and that worries me a bit because um, I really think that uh, having automated votes uh, had some very nasty uh, effects on Steam and uh, that's what I'm seeing right now. Uh, I am seeing people hunting for uh, posts that the author doesn't put much uh, voting power behind and then certain guys, uh, and I'm sure that you know who you are, uh, vote immediately as uh, some, some of those uh, authors post uh, a content. And that is very bad because that doesn't encourage me to vote uh, or continue voting because if uh, I go there and vote, uh, the money, the, the, the DTC that I will be creating, I will be creating DTC for another voter out that automated voted that content, not for the author. And that's very bad. Uh, and I really think that that subverts the idea of voting at all. I'm not voting uh, to give myself money. That's not my thing. I should be voting to give the authors some money, some rewards, right? And that's not what is happening and that worries me. Um, and yeah, mainly, mainly with the economy, I really think that we need to change stuff. We need to change the way the rewards are um, are shared between the author and the the curator, and try to avoid that that um, uh, greed in voting, if you if you will. This is not an easy thing. And that's why uh, I will talk a little bit about this sound right now. 
that's why uh, the next generation of this sound is taking so long and the economy is taking so long for me to finish and because this is very important it's it's very important to understand that having the right incentives is not done overnight we need to think about stuff we need to organize the right uh, incentives so that people are um, rewarded to doing the right things and that it, uh, seems easy but it's not and i am com i'm creating a completely new economy for this sound because of that because i don't think that's the best uh what what i'm thinking about for this sound is completely different uh votes will not have any impact in reward generation uh votes will be just uh, a way for people to share with others their likes or um, their preferences uh, will help as well people stay um, on track with liked music and maybe generate uh, tailor-made playlists for them um, and will have no impact in the economics. What will have impact in the economics is um, creation of content and people sharing their content or uh, consuming that content. So playtime will have um, an impact uh, but not just playtime, uh, a bit, a few things more like uh, interactions with that content and um, sharing that content with other users. And that's a completely different thing. I cannot uh, go into much detail with the sharing part. It's not like reposting. It's not, uh, there's no reposting in this sound economy. Uh, it's more like uh, if you like that that song enough, you will have you you will want to have that song with you, so that you can listen to that song uh, offline, and that's what I call share. It's being another uh, provider of that song in the network. But yeah, I cannot dig further on that because that's, that's work in progress. And I, I just wanted to share with you um, a different idea, right? That, that's what I am designing for this sound. Uh, because I've experienced it all since the beginning with Steam and the problems that uh, we, we had there. And uh, with Hive, uh, most of it is uh, the same thing. And Although I learned a lot with those projects and I am eternally grateful for uh, uh, welcoming me in the crypto economy and uh, in, the, in the crypto world and industry, uh, I know that it, they were not perfect and that, that's not supposed to. So uh, they are experiments and they made a lot of sense at that time but right they have flaws and issues and right now i am trying to do it differently or experiment with it differently so this is my 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 work right now on this sound is to design all that and that's a hell of a job and i i really think that on dtube i have a little bit of uh, experience experience with a different alternative that was designed by Heimendanger and I really think that uh, it addresses some of the problems from the past 
but it created some other problems as it's supposed to to be and i would like to help solve that uh with the help of the other leaders and and so on so i really think that we need to have some to to, to have some meetings regular meetings I would really, really love to contribute to these discussions because it's really something that I am working on. And uh, I loved it too, because uh, it was a project that uh, inspired me to make this sound. So, and as an in early investor, I don't want to lose my investment. So yeah, here I am trying to, um, make me make myself available to contribute in uh, designing a new economy or trying to make some improvements to the existing one um, at least finding those problems and trying to address them i think it would be uh, interesting and related to um, the economy is also the governance and that is another problem that's another problem that i am uh, thinking and working on in this sound because i really think that these projects need to be decentralized need to be uh for everybody and need to be completely uh agnostic if i am here or if i am in dubai making some vacations and uh that's that's something that we are experiencing right now and i really think that we need to address that and maybe it's the first thing to address decentralized governance is very important it's very important to find a way that any of us can just switch off and go offline for years and uh, the project continues on and I would really love to help on that as well, try to figure out ways to make this work because that would help me a lot in the sound as well, because that's something that I've been thinking about. And yeah, let's, let's start with some uh, periodic uh, meetings in the project and uh, start working uh really on these uh, matters because uh what i'm seeing right now is not very good for dtube uh just rising uh problems and not working on the solutions um or not starting conversations or uh, starting um governance uh, uh task force uh, or something like that will have a very, a very big impact in uh, the project for the future. So let's start it right now. Let's step in and arrange a meeting, start chatting uh, about the problems and start deciding or defining who will work on what and uh, see what comes from that because uh, the beauty of decentralized projects is exactly that and open source is uh, if we don't agree in something we just fork it uh, and i'm i'm not uh, defending that we should fork the tube don't get me wrong and I don't want to do it I think we are grown-up people I think we can reach agreements and I think we can uh, help each other ach to achieve a common goal and I really hope that that happens uh, forking is the last resort and uh, I really th I really think that we don't need to get there we need to get together we need to assume that we have a problem and we need to find out a solution for that 
and uh, work together as a team, as a team of leaders. And uh, yeah, it all starts there, guys. So let's let's get that going on and count with me to help uh, in what I can. And uh, yeah, cheers everybody uh, this is a long video already um, i didn't want to be rambling too much so enjoy enjoy uh, this phase because it's a very important one let's make it make the most out of it okay shout out to tip folks for uh, your initiative it's very interesting and uh yeah let's Let's get this rolling, guys. Cheers. See you. Bye-bye.